comparing five similarities of Burmese and Filipino culture. Actually, Myanmar and Filipinos quite look the same. So I have Filipino friends that looks like my Burmese friend. Curry that is quite similar to the Philippines, which we call adobo. Here in the Philippines, we call it moma or nganga, while in Myanmar, they call it betel nut. It's quite uh, normal to see people uh, doing or eating betel nut. In the Myanmar, it's actually quite rampant in all of the regions in Myanmar. So that's not Welcome back to another YouTube video. So, Tangedjans, today I will be doing another Myanmar video, but now I will be comparing five similarities of Burmese and Filipino culture. As most of you know, I have lived in Myanmar for 10 years, so I like to call myself Filipino with a Burmese heart. So, being in Myanmar for the past years, I have come to love them and I have seen a lot of traditions, cultures, and beliefs that they are doing in Myanmar and they are quite similar here in the Philippines. Myanmar is also Southeast Asian country and Myanmar is quite bigger than the Philippines and Myanmar's religion is mostly Buddhist while in the Philippines we are mostly Christians. And despite those differences, actually Myanmar and Filipinos quite look the same. So I have Filipino friends that looks like my Burmese friend. So it's quite funny when I have to digest those things and I, when I see these Filipino friends, I also am uh, reminded of my Burmese friends. So Filipinos and Burmese look alike. So what is only different maybe sometimes is the way Filipinos and Burmese dress. Burmese people love their traditional outfits. But here in the Philippines, we don't wear traditional outfits every day. We, us we usually wear it on special occasions. But yeah, now let's go to the five similarities of Burmese and Filipino. So let's go to number one. Family tradition. So I have seen how Filipinos and Burmese love other parents, their grandparents, and their family. So they have strong family ties. Filipinos and Burmese has this attitude of taking care of their parents, especially when they get old. And most of the time, I see Filipinos and Burmese people giving money to their parents, especially when they have or when they get their salary. But what's something different about the Philippines and Myanmar is most of my Burmese friends are giving 100% of their salaries to, to their parents but uh, Filipinos don't give that 100% just give what is enough for their family for their parents so that's number one number two with regards to food Burmese food are quite salty and oily and most of the people I know in Myanmar love spicy food while here in the Philippines we tend to love sweet foods but there are also regions who love spicy foods so what is the similarity is you know Myanmar and Filipinos love to eat rice so rice is essential to the food <laughs> and I cannot relate to that because I don't eat rice. In Myanmar, they call their ulam a uh, curry. So they have a uh, vegetable curry, a uh, chicken curry, pork curry, beef curry. And they have one curry that is quite similar to the Philippines, which we call adobo. So in Myanmar version, they call it a pork wata curry, which is a little bit more salty and more oily. But it's quite similar to the adobo here in the Philippines. So I'll be flashing the photos. And number three is with regards to social media. In Myanmar and the Philippines, Facebook is very, 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 very famous. Actually, in Myanmar, Facebook is the biggest uh, social media. It has 19 million users. While in the Philippines, it's also the biggest uh, social media which has 95 million million users. Yeah, I could see that a lot of my friends are really using Facebook. A lot of the Filipinos here, my family members, friends are usually using Facebook here in the Philippines. And number four is Myanmar and Filipinos also have a lot of ethnic people or ethnic groups. So in Myanmar, they have at least 135 ethnic groups. While in the Philippines, we have, I think, at least 10 ethnic groups. And in these ethnic groups also, we have different set of dialects where in Myanmar it's also the same because if we go to Shan State or we go to different uh, to the northern areas of Myanmar they also have their different dialects and mind you in the northern area of of Myanmar and also in the northern area of the Philippines they quite look they quite are the same features because like a little a little white skin number four are the ethnic groups we also have 
quite different ethnic groups with different dialects. So my last list that is quite similar here in the Philippines and in Myanmar is the usage of betel nut. Here in the Philippines, we call it moma or nganga, while in Myanmar, they call it betel nut. Here in my area, here in the northern area of the Philippines, it's quite uh, normal to see people uh, doing or eating betel nut, so they call it mama here. While in the Myanmar, it's actually quite rampant in all of the regions in Myanmar, so that's number five similarity. So the red stain we see is because like, people are like using the mama or nganga. So Tangeja, those are my five lists of the similarities of Burmese and Filipino people. So yeah, we may be different from different countries, but we also have similarities with our cultures. Maybe I have forgotten some things, but these are the list that is based on my own observations. And if I have forgotten something or you want to share something, please comment it down below. And I hope you enjoyed this vlog, Tangeja, and goodbye, Tangeja. Give you Zaiba, ayon chite. Tang Ejin! <laughs>